All right, today we're going to talk about heat sequencers. We had a customer give us a call and the fan wasn't running. And we knew the fan was good because we checked the uh, continuity through the, van, uh, the fan. So what happened, the uh, heat sequencers were bad. So we're going to talk about ohms resistance. And I'm going to show you here, look at the meter. We got it on ohms. Now this is a bad heat sequencer. And this has got 102.4 ohms. Okay, that's a very high resistance. What they're supposed to be, when you know they're good, I put a double stack. See how these are double stacks? Same thing. Three points. Okay. Now look at the meter for this one. It's uh, going to go back, somewhere between 58 and 60, right in that area. So... 58 to 60 is the ideal resistance reading of a sequencer. I also have a triple stack here I want to show you. So it doesn't matter if it's a double stack or a triple stack. It's still going to have the same resistance reading across that little coil inside the sequencer. So if you have any questions about heat sequencers, heat strips, give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, 239 five nine six five eight five five